So, good morning, ma'am, sir. Magandang umaga. Today, i-discuss natin yung perimeter barriers. So, first and foremost, let us first define what is barrier. So, barrier can be defined any structure or physical device capable of restricting, deterring, delaying illegal access. Ito yung aharang lalo-lalo na sa kapulisan, yung choke point at saka checkpoint. And or either in a mall, yung barrier, harang yung tao para i-check or i-scan ka. So, let's proceed about perimeter barriers. So, perimeter barriers is intrusion detection device, any protective lightings provide physical security safeguard, however, they alone are not enough. So, perimeter barriers, it is either a fence, fences or wall. Next is an access control system must be established and maintained to preclude unauthorized entry. So, dito sa perimeter barrier, ma-maintain talaga yung, yung pagpasok at saka ng, ano, yung employee ng kampanya, company na at walang makapasok na, na hindi kasali sa company or unauthorized person. Next is concept of perimeter barrier. So, the concept of perimeter barrier is minimal level of security or take thorny heads, yung tonok-tonok, yung ano, tonok-tonok na ano sa makikita natin o mapansin natin sa sa uh, tinatawag natin gaol in Prince Word or jail kulungan. So, sa kulungan pala is yung minimal level of security or turn. Yung ano, 48 height ng ano nila, yung perimeter barrier nila sa kulungan. Consider how police of intruders concealment. So, ito, ma maharang talaga yung mga intruders, yung hindi kaya, kung may gayang hindi kaaya-ayang gawin or may masamang binabalak. At saka, ma-insure yung optimal visibility of all entrances and exit. So, kagaya ng example natin ito is yung choke point. Daanan na may entrance at exit na pwedeng doon or doon yung ruta na daanan ng ng intruders o yung tinatawag na natin na criminal or something like that. Next is line of physical defense. So ito, line of physical defense, isa-isahin natin kasi marami to. First is physical protection. The use of wall fences, doors, gate, lockable windows, bars, and grills, it creates a de- deterrent, both physical and psychological, to unauthorized person. So, ito talaga yung protection. Next. Next is door. So, door are the most obli- obviously vulnerable point in any premises. Grills gate are also a good line of defense where entrance are out of sight and intruders would have time to gain without access being seen. Sas aside or basement entrances. So, ito, yung door. Sa door, sa pinto pa lang, makikita mo na yung dapat grills, yung ano, yung portahan, yung, yung pinto. Sa, for example, ito is yung jail yung kulungan makikita pa lang dito yung mga intruder makita dito yung yung sino ang papasok or may masamang balak sa pinto pa lang makikita makikita mo na next is windows windows is gas without saying that windows should be fitted with secure locks but added protection in particularly vulnerable areas as, as ground floor location or where Access via a flat roof or possible. The installation of window grills is a wise measure. So, windows protection is kanang ginagamit ito 
para maprotektahan yung company or sa ano ground floor at saka protection saka oin or for any protective particularly sensitive area particularly sa sensitive area dapat yung yung window talaga yung mamahalin at maprotektahan ka next is roof opening so roof opening it leaf hatches skylights of or roof doors can offer access to a building and are especially vulnerable if the roof area is adjacent to that of another building so roof roof opening ito yung kakaber ng building through the light kasi sa light sa building talaga for example sa example natin kanina yung yung kulungan yung jail may at po sila doon eh kasi may dapat may lights kasi doon makikita yung at maprotektahan yung building kasi makikita doon yung mga intruder makikita doon sa ano nasa ibaba nasa taas ka nasa ibaba yung intruder makikita talaga kung may intruder Next is perimeter barrier opening. So gate and doors. Our doors, gates and doors in a perimeter should be locked and perfectly inspected by guard. So kung hindi talaga kaya ng guard, yung isa lang ay yung nagaguard, pwede niyang i-close yung gate at saka door para ma-ensure yung kaligtasan ng tao. O, lalo-lalo na sa ano, company. Ganyan. At saka bank Next is Sidewalk elevator This provide access to area within the perimeter barrier And should be locked and guarded So ito yung Ano Yung sidewalk elevator Nagpo-provide ng access of area Within the perimeter barrier So next is Utilities opening So Sa, sa, kamp- sa company guys or sir ma'am hindi talaga natin may na hindi maklose yung pinto and it can cause a barrier so para may wasan, dapat may magbantay at para mamintin yung kaayusan next is clear zone dapat maintain both side of perimeter barrier dapat maintain talaga na yung clear zone 20 feet at 20 feet before the clear zone dapat clear talaga yan both side para makita natin yung intruder na papasok perimeter barrier the garmation of a perimeter when the protection of assets personnel or buildings is required is normally affected by the building of a perimeter fence system the level of protection offered varies according to the threat level to the perimeter. Different type of perimeter fencing includes timber fencing, palisade fencing, welded wire mesh fence, fencing, chain link fencing, rolled mesh fencing. So perimeter barriers depends on how the building or assets is liable. Type Types of perimeter barrier. Timber fence. Timber fencing is an old standby in the Brisbane area. Timber is a great material to use for fencing for a number of reasons. It has a great natural look and is a great way to provide property boundary. Timber fences can be built in many different styles depending upon your need. So, timber fence, um, old fashion security um, use timber fences because it has a natural look that can beautify your property and it is very useful to provide boundary palisade fence the main reason for installing a fence is to secure a certain area from outside intruders or to keep people within some certain premises for example a palisade fence will be used to outline the confines of a school and to keep its student on the school premises due to their intent 
Palisade fences have been designed to make climbing the most impossible or at least very hard. With a lack of footholds and potential to be 3 meters tall, this makes them difficult to gain leverage to climb the vertical obstacle. Palisade fences also serve as a strong vis visual deterrent. Commercial usage normally includes having spikes at the top of the fence, which also deters any intruders from attempting to climb. The fence, in case of injury of being cut at the top, the tall nature of this fence also intimidates any intruder from attending, attempting to climb the fences. Um, these fences can usually be seen in school so that students can or in, any intruders cannot climb easily to this fence. Welded wire mesh fence. Welded wire mesh or welded wire fabric is a steel reinforcement material in concrete. The mesh is used for replacing the traditional cut and bed and placing of steel thermomechanical treated bars. The mesh is an electric fusion welded prefabricated reinforcement consisting of a series of parallel longitudinal wires with accurate spacing. Welded to cross wires at the end spa spacing. Mach machines are used to produce the mesh with precise dimensional control. The product results in considerable savings in time, labor, and money. So, if you want to build a fences uh, um, in very cheap way, these fences can be useful. Chain link fence. Chain link fence can be used to create a secure barrier around a residential home, commercial business, or industrial job site. Various sites of fencing can be used depending on the need and additional deterrents can be added such as barbed wire to prevent climbing access. Safety Chain link fencing is an excellent choice for playgrounds and parks, particularly near city streets or other areas where children might be injured chasing after a ball or other toy. It can be all used to separate areas where different age children will be playing or specific sports such as baseball or basketball will be played. Metal railings Metal railings are typical solution for application that includes stairs, ramps, drop-offs, and even walkways. Metal railings utilize the same basic structural components as wood railings. A top handrail, a bottom rail or truck, balusters or newel post for main load transfer, to the walking surface and in field panels, pickets or spindles. While the design of railing system must meet stringent code requirements for safety and structural support, metal railing system offers a broad range of design, design options from a basic picket rail to an industrial wire mesh panel to custom artistic designs. The structural capacity, durability, and ease of fabrication of metal railing system provide some advantage over wood railings but are generally most expensive. So, this rail fences um, is the most expensive one. Perimeter guards Perimeter guards and sonic perimeter guards are guard rails and security fence as well as safety devices that produce sound waves when a given perimeter is breached. Perimeter guards are typically used to monitor the perimeter around a machine, but may also include system of handrails and guardrails used in construction applications, or security fence and enclosures used to secure restricted areas. A perimeter guard may be a permanent fixtures or may be a set of temporary removable panels, rails, and gates. Perimeter guards, ito yung mga guardrails, security fence, at ito rin yung safety device na nagproproduce ng sound pag ang binigay na perimeter ay lumampas. Perimeter guard ay nagiging monitor sa isang machine. 
at ang perimeter guard ay maaaring gamitin sa construction applications or security fence and enclosures used to secure restricted areas. Ang perimeter guard naman ay magiging permanente or magiging temporary at maalis na mga panels, rails, and gates. Types of perimeter guards 1. Machine guards Machine guards protect machine and operators from potential hazards while restricting access to equipment. Machine guard ay nagiging protekta sa mga machines at operators mula sa mga delikado sa pag-operate ng mga equipo. Pangalawa, guardrails protect against vehicle impacts while creating a barrier between pedestrian walkways and vehicle lanes. Ang guardrails naman ay nagiging protekta ng mga impact mula sa mga vehicle. At nagbubuo din ito ng barrier sa pedestrian walkways at sa mga daanan ng mga sasakyan. Pangatlo, retractable gates. Gates collapse for easy transport and storage. Pangapat, protective railing are boundary features and may be means to prevent or deter access to dangerous or off-limits areas while allowing lights and visibility in a greater way than a fence. Protective railing naman, ito ang aging mga prevention or pag-iisip natin sa pag-access mula sa mga delikado at off-limits na mga areas. Traffic barricades, a type of barricade fitted with flashlights and used to block excavation or road construction or other safety-related purposes, formerly made of wood or wood and steel, may now have structural members made wholly of plastic or composite materials. Traffic barricades, <coughs> ito ang type ng mga barricades na flashlights at panakip sa mga excavation or sa pag-construct ng daan. Chip guards is an aerosol coating that matches medium to heavy textures and protects lower panels from impact chipping and abrasion. Perimeter guards are used to provide a safety guard for stairwells and ladders. Number two, catwalks and suspended walkways. Three, manholes at pang-apat rooftops and platform edges features of perimeter guards safety railing system typically consists of modular interlocking parts such as pipes or tubing to build railings at ang function ng mga perimeter guards ay ang security system monitor at itong security system ay binubuo ng video cameras and video motion detectors.